today is a Fire Fun Scrappy Mania, and today I'm going to create a phrase from this book called Beautiful Faces by Jane Davenport. I really love her drawings and her mixed media dolls, and I've been reading the books, um, and I think I'm getting better on creating the faces for my doll. Another one that I like watching is the Art Sherpa, and she does have a series about beautiful face, or about face, I believe is what her series is. And she does go over how to create these um, these faces and nose and, and, and such. So I'm going to use the book to try to create this face. I really love how that face looks. And I'm going to do it on here, this opposite side. Jane um, says to use, you know, be free and to use a color pencil. And not to erase. However, I am a little chicken. <laughs> I don't like. I prefer to erase. So I'm going to go ahead and just use a pencil. Maybe as I get better at it, because you do get better with time. You just need to have the drawing time. You need to take time to daily to draw something, and it will get better. And actually, I think I put this too high up. So I think I'm going to go look around here. So I'll do. Because I want a big face. I like how she, And I'm going to have her hair come all the way out here. So I'm drawing my oval. And you want to use a very light pressure. You can always darken your lines later on. But when you first start creating your, your markings, so that way you know the placement of the facial features, you want to make it very light. And then I'm drawing my eyes in. And I'm referring back to the book. So, I'm, so that's the good thing about this book. It really helps you. She has it step by step, all the different stages of your drawing. So it helps you know how, how to draw these, these different features. And then the lips, I really like these lips, how they came out. It was just three circles. And I'm referring back and forth to the different pages just to learn or, or get an idea how to create the eyes and now I'm just putting a little more shading now I'm going to the eyebrows and notice that I'm not really pressing down very hard on um, to create my my eyebrows and I'm using little marks I'm not really laying down a lot of charcoal and notice that my pencil is really on an angle it's not really on a 90 degree angle it's more like a 45 degree angle when I draw my markings because that will give me a lighter touch. Um, and if I need to erase something, it's not going to be etched on the paper. So um, if I do want to darken something later on, I can always go back with some more charcoal. So I'm going to create the facial features. And I really love how that, um, Jane created this phrase. It's a nice little oval. And I love how she created the cheek area. So I'm trying to reproduce what she does. And then the hair is pretty fabulous. I do like how she does her hair. So now is the shading. I'm going in and shading very lightly my, um, my eyes. And I'm going to put some more shading around the facial features. And I'm also shading a little bit around the lips. And that really gives it a nice three-dimensional look to your doll when you start adding, adding these the this, this shading. And just try to not put too much um, heaviness when you shade just slightly. You can always come back and put some more shade. I think I'm done with this so that looks similar to what she has now I'm gonna go ahead because I don't want this charcoal to mix with my paint so I'm gonna put some workable fix in it and let me bring it out so I don't mess up my computer so I sprayed that on there let it dry for a little bit and then 
I'm going to go ahead and use my skin palette. This is a, actually let me use her Davenport skin tone because I did buy her paint. So I got the Jane Davenport neutral palette and it's mainly for her skin tones. I really like this one. So I'm going to use that for her skin. I'll use this one. This is a Master Touch Big 18 Round. In her neutral palette, she has the colors with um, cute little names. They're not really the the names of that we used to seeing with other um, paints. So this is called Apple, the one that I'm using. And to me, that looks more like a yellow, a light yellow ochre or something like that. And I'm just putting a little more color around the edges and not too much in her cheeks area and her forehead because that is where the light reflects. So you want to not put a lot of color there. And then I'm putting some more color where I put the shade, the shading with my charcoal. I'm putting a little more darker air colors around there. Now I'm adding some cheeks. And then some lip color and this master touch brush is very good for um, for really going into detail it does come in a nice point so now I'm using the Prima tropicals to add some more color to her and I wanted the hair to be similar to the color of the hair that I saw on the book that it was a little bit of pink with red so I decided to use this pink from, um, from the Prima Tropical Confection watercolor line. And I think it's that, that's like an opera. And then I decided to use the red because I wanted some red. And the red that was in that Tropical palette, is not, it wasn't red enough for me. I'm making sure this is nice and dry before I do the next treatment on this doll. And now I'm adding some shading. I have to be careful with this paper because this paper is not watercolor paper. It's more, um, more like a sketch paper. It is a little thicker than regular copy paper, but it's, it's still thin. So I wanted to put some, some white highlights. So I decided to go with, I have a, a white charcoal block. And that gave just a little bit of highlight. And now I'm going with the Jane Davenport pens, but it didn't really work for me. I, I, those pens are not good. If, if those right all over pens, I don't know. Maybe I got a bad batch, but they weren't. They don't work very well for me. The the white pens that she's selling, the other colors are fine. So I'm done with this. So you can compare this book. I think if you want to learn how to create faces. You really need this book. I, of all the books, this is the one I go to. I really love this one. And look how beautiful that came out with her guide. You know, to take you step by step in how to do this. So I hope you like this video. And thank you for watching. Bye now.